This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Trainer Dao Bay, what's good, huh? Taking it easy, man. Down and down. Like a nice summer Tuesday. It's cool. Been down here with my clients all morning, training sleep now. Day goes on. Um, it's summertime now. So your son's not in school. Does that mean more boxing? Nah, we can, in the summertime we run two of these uh, a lot of the times, or sometimes we don't. But I usually bring them down and train them early in the day because I have uh, the rest of the children come around about like three thirty, four o'clock. So sometimes it's good to be able to kind of get these certain days to focus in on them in between my clients and stuff like that. What is he working on today? Man, it's a secret, man, because Nashville's coming up. He fought two weeks ago, though. He looked good. So he's, the stuff we've been working on, I've been working on his spring. Um, you know, boxing is kind of like the same thing over and over again every day. And then you, like, work with it different ways and get better. So we just definitely swinging the axe. Is he fighting the gloves, too, or just Nashville? Yeah, man. He's fighting in every... Yeah, the gloves. They, but, you know, like, the junior gloves, it don't really... It just, like, kind of... Goes throughout Pennsylvania, but um, the Silver Gloves is coming up though, so he's gonna be doing that too. And um, like I said, the Junior Olympics is next month, so you know what I mean. Everything's looking up. One of the kids for um, Saturday, um, Tashia had a fight. He, that's like his third fight that he won in a row in this last like six weeks. So he's been doing pretty good. The kids, they can go pretty good. So we man on down. What do you see? Like, what's the biggest change in him now that he's, I guess, just started puberty, so to yeah, speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, going to the ninth grade now. He's, like, uh, more mature. Um, a lot of the things, you know what I mean, it's like he doesn't have to be asked to do as many things as he used to be, have to be asked to do. He kind of, like, has the understanding of, like, some things has to be done for him to try to accomplish certain goals. So, um, honestly, he's just been learning and growing, man. I can't, you know what I mean? As a coach, he's been learning and growing the best way like possible so far. So good. How high's the ceiling? Ah, man. The hard part about you asking me questions like that about him is he my son, right? So it's like, like what you expect me to say, right? But you know what I mean? If he stick with it. You're boxing, you're boxing historian. Yeah, you're I very mean, analytical dude. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, to be honest, I think he has a good chance to be a pretty good professional boxer, especially if he stay the way he stay right now. Once he start to really messing with the girls and stuff like that, I could see him um, legitimately doing something. You know what I mean? But it's like a long road. I try to, I look forward for him, but I try to keep him dealing with the next challenge in front of him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a kind of like a mind state that I developed for us around here. We try to rule with that. That's so why it's hard for me to talk five years down the line for a 14 year old. Is there a father son relationship that you look at that you like, okay, that's how I want to model our stuff after, or do you examine all the relationships? Honestly, I'm not even going front. I examine all of them very closely. From um, Joe Kyle's, I, yeah, I've even read, read uh, I've read about guys, seen documentaries on guys from Roy and stuff he went through with his father, and when his pop shot the dog and all that, down to Floyd and his pop making him run home with the army boots right from school, having any time. Then I look at the relationships they have with him afterwards. You know what I'm saying? And then I look at like Sean Porter or Devin Haney and his dad. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of put it all in the bag. And I say, you know, I see where he went wrong here, I think. And I see where he did good here, I think. And, <laughs> you, I mean, I guess it's no right answer, though. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, some people will look at Floyd's situation with his dad and say, like, oh, look at the relationship he has with his father. But it's like, yo, dude, I made you like a billionaire. You mad or are you happy that I did that? You know what I'm saying? So it's, being honest, it's just, it's one of them things It's not a right or wrong answer to. I just, I go with the mannerisms of my son and... Like we just try to work towards our goal daily and honestly. Okay.